Friday night football from GMHBA Stadium. Hello, I'm Anthony Hudson. Pretty overcast conditions here for this match. Just some fine rain falling, which could make things a little bit scrappy for this match. Providing special comments for today's game is Gary Lyon. Cheers, hello. It's good to be here tonight. This evening's match is between Geelong and GWS Giants. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. I think it's all about GWS Giants and their form line. If they start to break away inside 50s, then look out. Geelong running onto the field looking for a big performance today. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today. You're right, Hutto. We play the game as it should be played. And how far away. I'm out of sky high. I'm going to die. I'm up to the park. The captains prepare for the toss of the coin. GWS Giants wins the toss. Come into this game with really good form. By contrast, coming into this game with some poor form. We prepare for what shapes as an enthralling contest here today. Jacob farmed it down. Duncan was taken high in the tackle. Decides to kick. Takes a nice mark. Hawkins will kick from beyond the 50. An ideal position to be kicking from. Going for goal number one. Just couldn't get it to curve enough. Searching for a teammate. Hopper takes a strong mark. Slams it on the boot. Takes the mark all by himself. The mark has been taken. Williams kicks it to the square. Nice hands. Goes with the kick. They chase after the loose ball. Cornelia brings it out of the pack. The ball ends up going to ground. Taylor gets the loose ball. Turned it over. Hands that ball to the opposition. Takes a strong mark. Collar Jasnik sends it clear of the contest. Open opportunity for Selwood. Going for distance with the kick. Hawkins marks. Puts it on the boot. Great mark in the pack. Moved on by Green. Taranto got under it. Taranto sends one up towards the wing. Kelly manufactures a handball. Moves the ball along the wing. Gets into some space to mark this. Taranto just threw it. Collar Jasnik uses it by foot. Stewart has resources out wide. A solid mark from Henderson. Stabs at the kick. The umpire calls for a stoppage. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Getting pushed out of the way was Duncan. Takes it well. Green wants to keep it moving by hand. Taylor got him high there. Keep it on. He goes it alone. That one hits the woodwork. The scoreboard is level. Weighing up the options now. Henderson plays on. Heads long with that kick. Schlenson marks uncontested. Puts boot to ball. 
Fuse takes the mark. Cameron cuts it off. Neither side able to hit the scoreboard early. Reed getting the crowd involved. The first goal going to GWS Giants. Swatson, Jacob onto the ball. Dishes it off. Just gets it onto the boot. Couldn't quite with the mark. Now it's a ball up. Stanley with the hit. The ball spills free. Ablett has the ball. Movement by hand. He can take off after that handball. Finds his man. Ward rushes with the kick. That's a monster kick. And it's a goal. That's his first. He loved that one. GWS Giants with a two-goal lead. Jacob guides it down. Up for grabs for Green. Handball finds Cameron. Langdon couldn't stick the tackle. Intervening brilliantly was Reed. He takes aim. Goal! His teammates rush over. That's three in a row for GWS Giants. The margin is 18. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. Tap came from Jacobs. Clears the congestion. Snaffled up by Sheridan. Stewart with the intercept. Mops up the loose ball. Dug out by Jenkins. Going for goal number one. He kicks that goal with purpose. He's absolutely loving it. Why not? Look at them celebrate that effort. Geelong get it back under three goals. Jacob just slaps it down. Taken by Taranto. Gets the loose ball. Slams it onto the boot. Off hands from Bogarty. He likes his chances from here. Davis wins the marking contest. Uses it now. Perryman applying the pressure. Constant pressure and rewarded. Handball's out into space. The ball mopped up with quick hands. Kelly clinks up with a chance to run. Connor Jasny uses the body well. GWS Giants haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Sheridan doesn't take the mark. GWS Giants, 20, play Geelong, 7. Deciding where to go with the kick in. Nice mark under pressure. GWS Giants would love to make the most of this opportunity. Himmelberg with a fairly straightforward shot for goal. Going for goal number one. That kick hits the post. GWS Giants, Clee is now 14. A chance to reload the attack now. 35 metres out. Move it on. Going for goal number one. Langdon nurses at home. He celebrates hard after that. GWS Giants by 20 points. GWS Giants aren't making the most of their hitouts. It's going straight to the opposition. Great tackling there, Hutto. There's the siren for the end of the quarter. The scores are GWS Giants 27 took Geelong 7. GWS Giants would have to be happy with that first turn. What stands out for you, Gas? GWS Giants have the lead, but they need to do better in front of goal. Every half chance can be critical to deciding who gets away with the win. Cheers, Gas.
We're ready for second quarter action. The Giants need to be more aware of the opposition set up at the stoppage. Their hitouts are getting cut off too often. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. GWS Giants forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. And we'll get a ball up. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game's going right now. Linking by hand. Davis just gets it onto the boot. Gets the handball away. Ward puts his body on the line. Picks it up. Picked off by Henry. He lays off the pass. Stewart with the ball. Gains some territory. De ball kicks an incredible goal off the ground. Gets his first. He's excited about that one. GWS Giants doing well at the moment. Jacobs got a fist to it. Gets a quick kick away. Rushes with the kick. Coughed up by Langdon. Handballs to no one in particular. Collar Jasny getting in on the act. Takes that one strongly. Probing kick inside the 50. It's marked by Rowan. 45 metres out. Lining up from a 45 degree angle. He gives it a ride. Just leaves them in his wake. Great goal. That will settle the nerves. Gets his first on the board. Rowan celebrating hard. Jacob thrashes it. Just sends it into space. Green throws the ball away. Guthrie drives the kick. Simply outplayed his opponent. Taylor goes for territory. Good mark by Rowan. Elected to play on. Sinks the slipper into it. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Got boot to ball. Good mark there. Taranto kicks it. Gathers it now. Williams pushes a low ball. Drops the ball. Just got the hands in the back there. Schlensock probing kick inside the 50. Doesn't take the mark. The ball spills from the tackle. Picked up under pressure. Unfortunately, not for long as the ball goes out. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. Gathered by Duncan. Gets a handball away. With the ball now. Releases the handball. He decides to go for home. He's enjoying that goal. Geelong now only trailed by 14. Hammers it. Clean from the half volley. The kick from Kelly. Cameron gets in the way. Ward couldn't complete the tackle. Missed the target. Lloyd contests the hard ball. Stanley puts it into space. Takes an uncontested mark. Selwood elects to kick. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Thrashes it. Doing well was Schlensog. Just threw the ball. Cameron kicks it to the square. Somehow got the ball out. Using every ounce of energy he has left. A drop punt through the goals. Stanley getting his first with that kick. Smiles all round. Geelong have kicked the last three goals. Just under two goals the difference now. Big thump from Stanley. Selwood keeps it moving. An easy grab for Lloyd. Going for goal number one. He's really turning it on now. He acknowledges the crowd. GWS Giants, but 14. Jenkins thumps it forward. Cameron looks in need of a spell. Reed with a chance to line up for goal. 45 metres out. Should be relatively straightforward from here. Already kicked a couple of goals. This for number three. Gets some reward for his efforts. 
GWS Giants by 20 points. That's a really good team goal. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. GWS Giants have to be smarter with their ball use at times. At the moment, they're turning it over in the air too regularly for their liking. The loose ball picked up. Pushes through with power. Sweeping handball. Slips the handball to Kelly. Cameron blinks for the teammate who can run. Taylor takes it well. Picks up the loose ball. Handballs. Henry gets the ball quickly onto the boot. Dahlhaus kicks hurriedly. Does well to cut off the kick. Now with a low spearing kick, stands tall and marks. He gives chase to the footy. Kicks in heavy traffic. He gets above the crowd. GWS Giants have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Coaches love to see that kind of tackling pressure. The Giants cleat Geelong, 46 to 25. Marked by Dangerfield. With a driving kick. Good mark and looks to send it back. He goes for broke. It was always pushing that post and pushing it so hard it hit it. The lead is now 22. Players move as they look to provide an option. Able to release the kick. Well, it'll be a ball up near the boundary line. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? Geelong trailing by 22 at half time. A good first half from GWS Giants. They can be well pleased with how the game is shaping. Any thoughts from you, Gaz? The Cats are doing well to control the ball in the air. They are getting to the right spots to cut off opposition attacks. They just need to be more controlled from this point forward. The third quarter has begun. Punched away. Ward finds possession. Chose to kick it. He takes the mark. Normally a pretty good kick. Let's see what he can do here. Taranto tries his luck at goal. That one will really lift them. No doubt about it. And that puts them further in front. Congratulated by his teammates. GWS Giants cab three in a row. Now they lead by 28. Thumps it clear. Has it now. Ward releases the ball. Hopper hacking it out of there. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. He spears the ball. Cornelio over the top. Moves the ball by foot. A chance to gather the ball. Slick with the hands. This is Henry. Dug it out. He takes the shot. Fancy footwork. And it's a goal to Taranto. They increase their lead. They get around him after that effort. 34 points the difference. Jacob won it down. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Did well to get a hand in. Cornelio there to mop up. Intercepted by Henry. Henry will be the recipient of the free. Steady hands there as he holds that one. A strong pack mark. Just gets a hand in. The loose ball scooped up. Has a man running for him. Just dismisses his opponent. Stephen wins the foot race. Over the top of the pack. 20 metres from home. Guthrie will have the shot on a slight angle. He needs to convert if they to have any chance from here. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. The Cats close the gap to 28. Stanley thumps it clear. Cameron comes away with the ball. Gets it away. He's got the football now. 
Green, a bit too casual with the tackle. Giving it off was Langdon. It's a turnover. Just releases the ball. Connor Jasny looks in a bit of pain. Going straight to the rooms. Doesn't look good. Guthrie had it, lost it. Well collected. A lot of possessions for him. Manufactures the handball. Receives the handball and takes off. At full stride, receives the handball. Sells the dummy. Stephen hurried kick. Dahlhouse grabs that one. Parfit has a great set of hands. He drives it. Perryman scoops it up. Perryman won himself a free. Moves it by foot. Takes a simple grab. Elects to kick. Found space for an easy bar. Looks up with the kick. Kicks hurriedly. Spent it before he earned it. Fails to fend off the tackler. Showing some really good pressure there. He looks like he needs a spell. Well, it'll be a ball up near the boundary line. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. Intercepts the ball well. Kick by Davis. Ends up turning this ball over. 40 metres out. Move it on. Schlensor drives it at goal. He'd always look close. But hits the post. Margin in a really tricky situation. Easily takes the mark. Moves the ball out of defence. Duncan couldn't hang on to the ball. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Well, he hasn't had the impact we were expecting. GWS Giants are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Pretty happy with that one. The lead is now 33. One down by Jacobs. A good mark under the circumstances. Taranto goes with the kick. Mark will be paid. Almost directly in front here. Lloyd has a chance to put a second goal on the board. GWS Giants lead by 34. Henderson with the responsibility of kicking it in. Penetrating handball is in his possession. Menegola wins the ball in the air. GWS Giants just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Keeps it moving. Just put it on the boot. Marks now and can send it back. Looks to move it by foot. Selwood goes by hand. Winning the ball in the air was Ward. Goes by foot. The ball ends up with Langdon. Uses it by foot. Needs a bit of a rest. Hacking it out of there. Doing well to intercept that kick. GWS Giants haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Intercepts the ball well. Ward found some space and marked. Sinks. What do you think of the third term, Gas? GWS Giants will be looking to not only hold their lead, but they want to put this beyond doubt early and run away with a big win. Anything to add, Gaz? The Giants are getting more of the ball on the outside, and it's their outside run that is generating plenty of scoring opportunities. Thanks, Gary.
Let's see what this last quarter throws up. Can't afford any mistakes from here. They have to be perfect. One to hit out. Keneliak moves it now. Let's uh, It's the better man there. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. GWS Giants forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. He's leading the ranking points. He's on fire at the moment. Duncan, a long driving kick. Stewart picks up the loose ball. Hurried kick. Menegola didn't mark it. Gets a quick kick away. Ball off hands. Selwood looking a bit sluggish out there. Finds a target. 35 metres out. Jenkins should be able to put this through. They are desperate for a goal now. Drop punt straight through the middle. It's home. Can that goal be the spark? Celebrating hard. Geelong looking for some scoreboard respectability. Jacobs hurls it away. Wants to keep it moving. Ball gets cut off. Himmelberg just too high with the tackle. Spears the ball. Ablett got hands to it. Just gave it away. Rushes with the kick. Blitzarves. Sockers the kick. Takes possession. Jenkins getting a chance for a break. The umpire calls for it. What can you tell us, Gaz? This game needs a spark at the moment. Goes short by hand. Has a runner alongside him. Rowan leaps over the top. Interesting handball. The ball in the hands of Duncan. He's been influential. Links with hands. Dangerfield might have overworked himself there. Look at them celebrate that effort. The Cats have kicked the last two goals. They continue to tighten this game up. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. GWS Giants are leading the inside 50s, and right now that's converting into scores. Handballs to a teammate on the run. Puts the handball out in front. He wins possession. Can't take possession. Williams throws the ball away. He drives it. Awkwardly got the handball out. Steven is blowing hard after that effort. The drop punt sails between the big sticks. He's excited about that one. Geelong behind by 16. Jacobs with the punch. Scoops up the ball. Collected by Himmelberg. Found a way through. Sweeping handball from Cameron. Lucky to be on the receiving end of that decision. Looks up with the kick. The ball is picked up and kept alive. Just offline for a minor score. GWS Giants, 67, lead Geelong, 50. Considering the options on the kick-in. Connor Jasny takes the mark uncontested. Ends up marking uncontested. GWS Giants just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Dangerfield drops the mark. GWS Giants lead the Cats by 18. Couldn't take it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. He's barely touched the ball lately. Has to do better in that mark contest. Collects the loose ball. Finding the ball with ease. Unable to create the space. Great tackling technique. De ball going for number two. His teammates rush over. A four-goal lead. GWS Giants just starting to run away with this game. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot.
Geelong, Karina's hipping the ball well, but they're not capitalising on the scoreboard. They need to find the ball more at ground level to capitalise on their dominance in the air. Dalhouse used the body to take that mark. Moves the ball by foot. Great mark under pressure. Ablick a long way out. He slams it towards goal. They are happy with that effort. They get around him after that effort. Geelong reduced the margin. Thump by Stanley. Kelly controlled it well off the bounce. Spills the mark. Langdon not getting much of it, Gaz. That's right, Hutto. He just can't seem to get into the game. Cleanly picked up. Pumps the ball long. Just gets a boot to it. Menegola puts it on the boot. Dug out the loose ball. Rowan with the shot. Fogarty goes cleverly off the ground and kicks the goal. Celebrating hard. Geelong close the gap to 12. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. GWS Giants are in front in the clearances and it's allowing them to create pressure up the field and scoring opportunities. Finds the loose ball. He flicks it over at full stride, receives the handball, hands it out to open space. Clear free, just put both hands in the back. Looks to move it by foot. Blitzarge takes it well. This will certainly test him from this distance. Going for goal number one. What a goal! He celebrates hard after that. Geelong reduced the margin. Punches it clear. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Ends up turning this ball over. Elects to kick. Cameron did well to win that ball. they just maintain possession and hold onto the ball for a moment, they should be able to hold on here. Moved on by Whitfield. Takes the mark. A low stabbing kick. Marks that ball uncontested. After an enthralling match where every moment mattered, it's celebration time for GWS Giants. What stood out for you today, Guess? A simply awesome performance from both sides. They both deserve to win, but it was GWS Giants who got it done. Final scores are 74 to 68. On behalf of Gary Lyon, thank you for joining us. We'll see you again soon.